There are new questions this noon about TSA screening procedures after a woman was able to board a plane with a loaded gun. It happened at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. ABC News reporter Lisa Stark with more. A security scare at one of the nation's busiest airports. A 38 caliber handgun gets past screeners at Dallas-Fort Worth. Then the hunt is on, looking for the culprit. Turns out it was a gun-packing senior citizen. 65-year-old Judith Kenny sailed through TSA security with her gun in a computer bag. She says, by mistake. By the time screeners realized what they were seeing on the x-ray, Kenny and her bag had disappeared. The TSA scrambled, pulling security tapes, fanning out to check five terminals, even holding flights at one terminal and boarding them to eye the passengers. They really weren't telling us anything at all, other than um, there was a, um, a security breach and um, they were looking for somebody. Kenny was trying to go to Houston, and her American Airlines flight had already pulled away from the gate when security called it back. That's where they found her and the gun on board the jet. It makes me feel concerned about, you know, what's really going on. Is the screening process really as efficient and as secure as it should be? When you let a weapon go through and you have to call the plane back, passengers already through disrupting travel. Uh, there's something wrong with the, the performance of the agency. In a statement, the TSA defended its actions, saying it worked to locate the passenger and firearm before the plane departed. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington.